So, Chan. Yes? Thank you for coming in on such short notice and a few hours early. Not really my choice. I had to be here for the staff meeting. Let's talk about last night. What about it? You caused a fire because you wouldn't let me do my job. You let me fall asleep. I didn't start a fire. My advice was poorly interpreted. Well, everybody thinks you did. Did you see the email blast for the staff meeting? We didn't start the fire, or did we? Gwen, you have to let me edit the calls. You can't just go live like that. If I fall asleep, kick me, wake me up. I got excited. You can't blame a girl for wanting to grab the bull by the horns. People want to talk to me, or about me. Chan, this solidifies my purpose. People want me to help them. Or they want an excuse to call Tavik around Dover. She was a lost cause. My advice was on point. In conclusion, continue business as usual. Discuss the weather. The Kardashian season premiere. Whether or not global warming exists. And so on. But by no means may you use your on-air platform to discuss this incident or your opinions of what allegedly happened involving the Great Pizza Dome fire of 015. And if any of you do bring it up and I get another call from the police department, I will make your lives so incredibly painful for two weeks and then fire you. So essentially, Tara will make you regret the day you were born. <laughs> Do we have any questions, comments, or concerns? We can start directing those to our lovely HR rep, Charlotte. Write everything down and stick it in that box. I might read and respond if I have time, but I probably won't. You could have decorated it. My comments don't look very welcome. Because they're not. This is a contractually obligated courtesy. I know those are a lot of big words for you. However, long story short, nothing good ever comes from a comment box. Our frat had a comment box and we decorated it with flattened beer cans. It was for our neighbors. They called us on our shit all the time. If that box was in my neighborhood and I live next to your gross gonorrhea-ridden frat house, I would set it on fire and put it on your doorstep to send a clear message. So do I need an attorney? If you are charged with accessory to arson, then perhaps. But you have a wonderful vocabulary, so you could probably represent yourself. So yes, hire an attorney. And I can still talk on my segment, right? No. Yes. Do not cower in fear. Freedom of speech. And Marquise, can you tell me what you got from this meeting? Always say any announcements in your head before you read them on air. And for purposes of coaching, can you tell me the why behind that? So that we as a station can be responsible and censor the news we share to our listeners to avoid chaos. That is our duty as media personnel. It's also our duty to say things that are asked to us. Yeah, I have a question. What happens when more people start calling me asking about all this stuff? I'm right before Gwen's show, and that's gonna be a lot of call volume. Considering you have your mom act as about five of your callers every night with different cameos, I wouldn't be too concerned. Tell her to lighten up. Okay, everyone, positive meeting. Take what we discussed and bring a new fresh life to your programs. Be the voices Delaware wants to hear, because after all, we didn't start the fire. Break. Gwen? Tara, hey! Don't think that you got off easy and that this will all just blow over. You could have easily been an accessory to murder with all this Rila Stone shit. No, I know that this was like a totally crazy thing and that I promise you- Well, here's a metaphor for you since you seem to be real good with those. I will burn you like that nut job burned down the pizza dome if you ever give another piece of advice. That's a simple None of those either. I will make sure that you never work in radio again. Got it? Fire all through the heavens, fire all 
blood through my veins The abandoned and Waxes and wanes Hey! Ken, what's wrong? You might as well go in an hour earlier tonight. No one wants to request solemn from the law-abiding citizen. They'd rather hear from the psychopaths that help aid in the demise of Pizza Dome. Headphones off. Kent is out. But I don't have a board off. Chan is in the lounge. Every line is lit up. Look, when you answer the phone, just ask them their names and what songs they want to hear. That's it. You're live in five, four, three, two. Good evening, WWJD listeners. This is your Midnight Music Ranger, Gwen Rose, here at 10.53 p.m. We're going to go to the phones and see what you want to hear this evening. Hello. You're on air with DJ Gwen. What would you like to hear? Hi, my name is Sherry, and I just wanted to say thank you for your advice last night. Really? Because of you, I'm now inspired to follow my dreams. I'm gonna climb Mount Everest. I decided to quit my job and open my own flower business. Because you do, you girl. You made me feel like Delaware wasn't so small after all. You know, I'm not really supposed to take calls like that anymore, but I'm gonna sneak in a quick thank you. Yeah, hi. I just wanted to say I, I hope you keep your show going. You inspired me to take charge and call my mom to reconnect. So now we're getting brunch because of your eradicate the toxins line. Mimosas kill toxins, right? Please hold. Chandler. Give the people what they want. It's go time. And who am I speaking with tonight? What song would you like to hear? Oh, I wasn't expecting this from a radio show. My name's Bill. And how about something to rock out to? You got it. Chandler? I'm on it. And Bill, I hope when you see your mother tomorrow that you embrace her like you would a teddy bear when getting a booster shot. I will. And great metaphor. Good evening, WWJD listeners. My name is Dr. Gwen Rose, and you have now entered my on-air office. Do you have life problems? Love problems? Are you looking for some metaphorically designed answers that you should never, ever take literally? Well, you've turned your dial the right way. Give us a call right now, because this is Capital Advice.